Hello people, I'm Ginny Metherill and I'm a fourth generation witch. I have come today to this peat edifice which rises up above the Devon countryside because I am going on a ley line hunt. This track will lead me directly through to the ley line that I want to get to. I know this ley line is here because I have sensed it previously, but I wanted to take you along to show you what I will do when I get there. We're heading over to this Neolithic marrow, which is a burial place of some chieftain, as it is just on the edge of the ley line cross that I want to visit. And so I want to set up camp here atop the barrow because it is just to the edge of the ley line and I won't have the ley line energy interfering with my pendulum when I get it out. So I'm sitting on, um, I'm sitting on the barrow which is near to where the ley line crosses. It is very often the case that barrows are built just to the side of ley lines. And I think the reason is so that the ley line doesn't interfere with the spirit moving forward in the world and going onwards, possibly. There is obviously a lot of honor to be buried on a barrow near a ley line, but who knows why or what they were thinking. But they obviously knew something. I mean, the ley line we're on here, I can see the bouncing of it. It does go from high point to high point. And that is because this is a natural valley hill area. On the flatter areas, it glows along the floor. Ley lines are, of course, magical. I wanted to come here, A, to see if there's anything else going on in this area. Because last time I came here, there was a, a several spirits which needed some help, and so I helped them onwards. And um, there might be some more, because ley lines are travel highways for spirits. So using my trusty pendulum, I take it out and ask a lot of questions to ascertain what is going on here. It turns out there is a single spirit here, a younger girl who died approximately 40 years ago in a boating accident of some kind, I wasn't quite sure what she was saying about that, on a lake. When the young die, because they're so used to continuing with their parents and their family, they often ignore the door through to the spirit world, which then sadly shuts behind them. This makes them earthbound spirits or ghosts, and is the reason why there are so many ghosts of children in this world. After a few more questions, I find out that the spirit is called Fiona. She died in Corbel and she very much didn't want to leave this world because it was all that she had known. With some help from me and some help from the world of spirit, I was able to move her onwards and she was most happy to be helped soon. However, before I moved her on, she wanted me to communicate psychically, because that's all I can do, with her parents and to tell them that she loves them and that she is happy and safe, because they are still alive after all. I am not surprised there was only one spirit here, because the last time I came with my trusty pendulum to this part of the world, I had done quite a lot of banishment of varying demons and entities that had been hanging around. So I was pleased to see that it had remained clear. The ley line comes across from this hill fort that you can see in the distance here. It is a Neolithic hill fort built on top of the ley line, as so often Neolithic settlements were. I am so lucky to live in this beautiful area which is surrounded by ley lines, Neolithic sites, barrows and other magical stone circles. But on this, the hottest of days, it is time to go home. Do subscribe and like and I will see you next week.